So Americans are continuing down the wrong path. This is something that we've seen over the past few years, and it's only getting worse. Experts say that this will soon be out of control. Now today I wanna address what that path is, why so many people are struggling, and what this means moving forward for you and I. So I'm gonna break all this down in just a moment, but all I ask is one thing, it takes two seconds, go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates, and now let's begin. So here's the issue. The American people are running out of money. We don't have money. We don't have savings and we don't have any additional stimulus coming our way. So what are the American people doing? Well, we continue to put all of our expenses on credit cards. But what happens when those credit cards are maxed out? Well, this is what one company found out just recently. Look at this. A firm shares surge 16% after better than expected results and strong guidance. This was from just yesterday. Now, what is a firm and why do we care that their shares surge by 16%? Well, here's the reason why I'm bringing it to your attention. And I also wanna show you what happened just today. This is a firm holdings. Now you may not know what this is yet, but I'm gonna explain it in just a moment. A firm jumped up 33% just today. Okay, if I show you the last five days, this was their stock, okay, between $30, $32. Then it jumped up just yesterday, okay, in after hours trading, then this morning, here it is at $42. Now, why does this matter? It matters because of what Affirm does. Look at this. This is from their website, affirm.com, and it says, why Affirm? We started a firm because credit cards aren't working. They lure us in with perks, but end up costing a lot. The average US household has $6,000 in credit card debt. With the firm, you'll never owe more than you agree to up front. Instead, you'll always get a flexible, transparent, and convenient way to pay over time. Now, how does it work? And you may have seen this on certain websites, but the way a firm works is pretty simple. They break down your, your total costs. So let's say you're gonna pay uh, $99. Well, what they're gonna do is they'll break it down and you can do three equal payments of $33. So three payments of $33 and then your item will be paid off. But guess what? This isn't layaway. You will agree to pay the three payments of $33 and as soon as you make that purchase, again, the $33 payment, Guess what? They ship your item. They send it to you. You don't have to wait. It's not layaway. You have to pay the whole item off before they give it to you. They give it to you immediately and then you pay it off, just like credit. Well, here's the reason why this is such a big deal. Because the company, is, again, it's surging. Stock market is going crazy over this. Why? Because they now know people are continuing to use them. Look at this. Revenue of $659 million beat the $604 million average analyst estimate. So again, it beat. That's the reason why this is such a big deal. People are struggling. The American people, are con the consumers, they're going in the wrong direction. We continue to spend money on things we don't absolutely need. I was talking to a friend of mine just the other day and we were, again, going back and forth about, yeah, Americans, they have more money than, than they're really letting on. But and I was telling them, being very honest, that no, they have access to money. They have access to some purchasing power. It might include pulling money from their 401k, taking a HELOC from their home, which wouldn't be a great idea right now. Also, taking money out just their, their regular portfolio, their stock market, right? And again, what a lot of people are doing is using credit cards, using pay now or uh, buy now, pay later services like a firm. This is what they're doing. And I thought it was interesting because he just kept arguing that no, people have a lot of money right now, right? People are sitting on a lot of cash. Well, we went to Home Depot and at Home Depot, when we were paying, the person in front of us was trying to, and again, it was a pretty decent sized bill, but they were trying to make their purchase using two credit cards. And they asked the cashier, can you break it up 
uh, just for me so that I can use my two cards. That's all they wanted to do. One of the cards wasn't enough. They didn't have either a high enough limit or they had too much debt on it. They didn't have cash. They didn't have a debit card that would cover it. So they're paying with two credit cards. Is this a sign of what's to come? I think it is. Because look at this. It says, the average credit card debt is on the rise for Americans in 2024. Not only is it on the rise, but it's going to exceed expectations. It's going to break all records. That's what we're about to see. Now, look at this right here. It says, credit card debt spikes as New York in New York City as working families feel post-pandemic pinch. It says, wages in New York haven't kept up with inflation and the COVID era relief programs that help low income New Yorkers have dried up. This is from just two days ago. Here's the reason why I'm bringing this to your attention. All those programs for renters are almost dried up. This is all across the country. Those programs for college students, programs for homeowners, uh, for the elderly to help you with your, your homeowner's uh, insurance, or potentially your uh, your property taxes, these programs are dried up. There's no money there. As a result, it's putting more pressure on the cities, and as a result, they're putting all that responsibility back on their residents, which is you. Now, I wanna show you one last thing. This I thought was very interesting. I was reading this just this morning. It says, couple paid off $77,000 in credit card debt with their emergency fund it still didn't solve their money problems. The reason why I'm bringing this to your attention is because somebody shared this with me and said that this is exactly what I wanna do, but is there a concern here? Is there a potential issue? What they were telling me is, now they don't have $77,000 in credit card debt. They actually have about 21,000, 22,000, somewhere around there. And the the husband was telling me the reason, or the, the purpose behind uh, paying off their, their debt, their credit card debt, using their emergency fund, which is in a savings account. Now the savings account isn't really giving them any interest, so that's just kind of a wash there, but they wanna use their emergency fund, so let's say $22,000 in their savings account, pay off their credit cards, because that's gonna get rid of that payment, that's gonna get rid of the interest, which they're paying about 23% interest, so that's gonna get rid of that. But, so whereas the husband said, was a good idea is that now they'll be able to use their credit cards as their emergency fund. Here's the warning I wanna give you. If you have been struggling to pay off your credit cards and you've had this high debt for quite a while, when you all of a sudden bring that debt down quickly, what usually is gonna happen, especially when banks are trying to minimize their risk, is they're gonna take your, let's say it's all $22,000 on one card. I don't know if it is, didn't ask that question, but let's say it's all $22,000 on one card. All of a sudden you go from $22,000 down to let's say zero. What's normally gonna happen, again, when banks are worried about their risk, they wanna minimize their risk, so instead of giving you a $22,000 credit limit, they're gonna bring that down to let's say 10,000. So essentially, you're gonna pay $22,000 out of your emergency fund, and you're gonna pay that debt off, but now, if that credit card company lowers your, your total limit, your emergency fund just shrank. That's the issue. So again, I know a lot of people wanna pay off debt and I highly recommend it, but at the same time, if you're paying off debt using an emergency fund, that might not be the smartest move at this time because of where the economy is headed. Again, I'm not a financial expert. I'm not trying to give you financial advice here, but just understand every situation is different this is why you should talk to somebody that is capable and highly uh, you know, intelligent that understands the times that we are about to head into. So I will leave you with that. But again, just understand right now, millions and millions of Americans are heading in the wrong direction. They're completely heading down the wrong path and there's nothing we can do about it. So don't follow them, right? Be smart, be prepared and be ready for whatever's to come. So. Again, I will leave you with that. Thank you guys for watching. Consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one.